I'm elated. I'm, I'm very proud of the guys. Um, you know, a lot of adversity going around at the moment around Worcester over the last couple of months, as you guys know. Um, you know, just throwing a little bit more at us by losing both of our frontline props this week. Um, Nick Shonard having to have an operation on his finger and obviously Val not passing fitness test. So we knew against the quality bath team we were going to be up against it. Um, and just very proud of how we, how we stuck in, you know, for the full 80 minutes against, as I said to you in the week, what I think is a quality bath team. A lot of um, credit must go to the conditioning team. I mean, that was one of the biggest things that I... I really feel, you know, when I came in here at the end of January, I didn't think we were fit enough. And I didn't think that the team could live with team, teams of Bath and Wasps quality. And, you know, Paddy Anson and his group have done a great job. And I think the guys are they're looking fit and, and in better shape. They were very good. I thought Ben Teo showed his class. I thought Jackson Willison was absolutely outstanding. And I thought Vaynant was, was very, very good when he came on. So, um, look, I, I don't really think any... Anybody had a poor game today. They were exceptional. I thought Will Spencer was outstanding today as well. Um, but yeah, look, they they asked a lot of questions with ball in hand, and and um, and yeah, as you say, I think they had a very good game. Yeah, he would have. You know, he's worked really hard. Um, he's he's come from from a, you know tough couple of years. Um, obviously, having injuries and not having played very much, um, and it's incredibly commendable how he has. Um, how he's fought through some tough times, and, and a lot of players go through that, you know, that we don't realise behind the scenes. And uh, when he arrived at the club, you know, he was he was intent on on um, on putting his hand up and, and showing how good he is. And I personally think that he could, uh, I really think he could he could be an answer for England, you know, going to Argentina in the summer. I mean, I think he'll he's played consistently well for us in six games in the bounce now, and played probably full 80 minutes in every one of those games. He runs the line out. He calls the line outs. Um, he's very good with ball in hand. He doesn't actually as a as a as a lock. He doesn't actually have a, a weakness. Yeah, we played in the A League on Sunday. We played against Leicester, and he went really well for the first 40 minutes. Um, he he would he would have struggled today. He would have been blowing, but I thought um, I thought he stabilised our scrum really well in the second half. We struggled in the first half, and I thought he brought a lot of stability to the to the scrum in the second half and. Uh, yeah, he's uh, he, he's um, a really impressive player. I, I mean, they 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 really do. I mean, Josh is such an explosive force from from the back. Um, you know, he's got a big left boot as well because he's a full back. Obviously, he didn't use the the boot too much today because we wanted to keep the ball in hand. But um, yeah, he's really he's a big tall lad as well. So he's 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 very confident under the high ball. Um, nice nice to have a, a little bit of flexibility that he can play full back and wing wing for you. So. He played really well, and I thought Sam Lewis was absolutely outstanding. I mean, he played, he played a, a, a what I would call a classic open sides role, and I think where I think he was outstanding today is actually with our ball in hand. So again, I mean, everyone you know has this perception that open sides need to be over the ball defensively, but somebody's got to get in there before before the opposition, and he's playing against one of the best in the world in Francois Lowe. and um, you know I, I think he he put in an unbelievable shift today. He's very good with ball in hand. He had a couple of line breaks as well um, and um, yeah I thought he, I thought he played really well today.